Earth's chirps. Earth actually sings in space, not with real sound though, but through very low frequency radio waves. When converted to something we can hear, they become chirps, almost like birds. Here's what it sounds like. Ham radio operators have been picking them up for years, but NASA's Van Allen probes captured one of the clearest recordings using specialized antennas. The sounds come from lightning around the globe and excited electrons in the Van Allen belts, which are two donut-shaped radiation zones around Earth, and it may sound beautiful, but it could also be a warning. In fact, scientists are investigating whether these radio waves can energize normally harmless electrons in the Van Allen belts, turning them into killer electrons that could threaten satellites and astronauts. Marsquake. On April 6, 2019, NASA's InSight lander recorded what's likely the first ever Marsquake. The sound came from ground vibrations picked up by InSight's seismometer. Here's what it sounds like. It may sound subtle, but that's Mars's ground literally shaking right beneath InSight. By studying these quakes, scientists learn more about Mars' interior, like how its crust, mantle, and core are structured and how they behave. Jupiter's Roar On June 24, 2016, NASA's Juno spacecraft crossed into Jupiter's magnetic field for the first time, and during that moment, one of its instruments, called WAVES, captured this. What you just heard was Juno passing through Jupiter's bow shock, which is the boundary where the fast-moving solar wind hits Jupiter's huge magnetic field. It's kind of like a sonic boom, but made of plasma and magnetic forces instead of air. And as the charged particles from the solar wind collide with Jupiter's magnetic field, they create electromagnetic disturbances, which Juno's waves recorded and converted into audible sound, producing the strange noise you just heard. Saturn sirens. On September 2nd, 2017, just two weeks before its final plunge into Saturn's atmosphere, the Cassini spacecraft and one of its instruments recorded the sound of electromagnetic plasma waves in Saturn's environment. This is what it captured. The sound you just heard actually came from plasma waves traveling between Saturn and its moon Enceladus. These waves form when electrically charged particles called plasma flow back and forth between the two worlds. Cassini then measured these waves as electromagnetic signals, which scientists converted into audible sound. This process is kind of similar to how a radio turns invisible signals into music. Phobos Phobos is Mars's largest moon, though it's still pretty small, only about 22 kilometers across. It orbits so close to Mars that it circles the planet three times every single day. Here's what it sounds like. What you just heard are electromagnetic waves around Phobos converted into sound so we can actually listen to them. These waves are created when Phobos moves through Mars's magnetic and plasma environment, where interactions with the solar wind create the electromagnetic waves we can measure and hear. Singing Comet In August 2014, the European Space Agency's Rosetta spacecraft detected a mysterious ticking sound coming from the magnetic field of Comet 67P. When scientists converted the data into sound, the comet seemed to sing this weird tune.
The sound actually comes from magnetic field oscillations around 67p, which are tiny fluctuations in its magnetic environment. Rosetta then recorded these variations as electrical signals and then converted them into the strange ticking noise you just heard. Pulsar. A pulsar is a super dense, fast spinning neutron star that emits beams of electromagnetic radiation from its poles. It's the leftover core of a star that exploded as a supernova. And this is what one sounds like. That particular sound came from the Vela pulsar, and it spins around 11 times per second. Each click sound you hear represents one full rotation of this neutron star. Its beams of powerful radio waves, x-rays, and gamma rays sweep across space, and when they reach Earth, our radio telescopes detect them as pulses. Scientists then convert these signals into digital data and shift the pulse rate into frequencies we can hear. Helix Nebula the Helix Nebula is a vast cloud of gas and dust about 655 light years away and three light years across, formed when a dying star shed its outer layers into space. Scientists converted its visual data into sound, producing this. The sound you just heard is actually based on the nebula's colors and light. When the image was scanned from left to right, red areas were turned into low-pitched tones while blue areas were turned into high-pitched tones. So just as light goes from low to high frequency from red to blue, the audio moves from low to high pitch. This creates those haunting sounds, especially in the blue regions. Singing black hole. Space is mostly a vacuum, so sound usually can't travel. But a galaxy cluster called Perseus is filled with hot gas, enabling the pressure waves from the black hole at its center to propagate like sound. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory captured these waves, and this is what they sound like. These waves are far too low for humans to hear, so scientists shifted their frequencies trillions of times higher so we can hear them. They also mapped the waves using a radar-like scan, letting us hear them coming from different directions around the black hole. Black holes colliding. When two black holes collide, they create gravitational waves, which are ripples in spacetime that scientists can turn into sound. In fact, on September 14th, 2015, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, detected such waves from the merger of two black holes. This is what they captured. This sound was made from the collision of two black holes from 1.3 billion light years away, with each black hole around 30 times the mass of our sun. It lasted just a fraction of a second, but it released 50 times more energy than all the stars in the observable universe. The event also confirmed the existence of gravitational waves and proved a major prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity, which states that massive objects moving through space would create ripples in spacetime.